Hi everyone, it's Kevin here with visualproductivity.net. We're talking about one of the XMind features and this feature is a new one to XMind 7. It's called comments. I actually really like this comments feature too. It's really nice. All right, let's look at this. Now, there are a couple of ways to get into this. One is to head up to the modify menu and then the fourth one down is comments. We can click on that one or we can head over and do our trusty right click. Let's pick something here and let's go right click right here. We'll go down to the comments and I can click in here and say, this is a comment. Oh, but hello, oops, hello. And I'll add the comment. Perfect, done. We click off of it and it goes away. You may be saying to yourself, well, this looks an awful lot like a note. And yes, it looks like a note, but here's the benefit. If you go in here and I can go hover over, you see I've got a comment here and one here. Let's go back into this one we just made. And it'll say, look, here, Kevin made this because this is the name I used when I set up XMind. So whatever, if you've used, you know, uh, Peekaboo 2000, whatever, that's the name that's gonna show up in XMind. So make sure it's something, if you're using this for business, that you, uh, you can go into the properties and, and make that change. Uh, but it shows the comments. So if there are several comments, we can go through it and it's listed saying who said what at what time. It's neat. And then you can see also at the top, we can go to a previous or the next comment. And I can go to the next one. There we go. Here's another comment. And if I want to see all the comments at once, I just click this and it'll open a handy screen right in the bottom. And we can see you'll be able to scroll through if there are several comments. It'll show all of the comments. So there we go. And it actually gives you a little tip here saying, this is the name you used as part of the setup. So this can go and be changed if it's something that's not appropriate and something you don't want. We can either minimize it, but I'll just go ahead and I'll right click on comments and we'll close that and go back into it. I like this feature a lot. Uh, this is something that's been asked for. I know a lot of people, a lot of you have been asking, like say, hey Kev, how do we collaborate with this? Well, now that you're able to share the XMind documents, now that you're able to add notes, it just is taking things to that next level where it's a lot easier to collaborate using XMind. Not perfect still, but this is definitely a very big step in the right direction. Um, uh, everything's tagged with your name, like I said. Let's have a look here, see what else I said. Um, really good tool for getting feedback from teams or just starting a discussion with others when you've got a shared map especially. Uh, one thing that I, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I like using the, the delete key on my keyboard. So I'd rather use that than having to right click and then choose delete to get rid of a particular comment. But really, that's all I can say as far as the knock goes. A very good step forward. I'm looking forward to using this more and I'm excited about it. You should definitely check out comments, a new feature in XMind 7. That's it for now, guys. If you liked the video, please go ahead and hit the like button, leave a comment, and we will talk soon.